Russia fires huge missile as North Korea nuclear crisis sparks WW3 fears. The test launch successfully hit its target at a range in Kazakhstan, the defense ministry confirmed. It could be seen as a warning shot to Kim Jong-un's rogue state as the test comes just a day after North Korea accused the US of declaring war. A statement from the Russian military confirms that data from the test will be used for the development of future missile aids. The test launch was performed at the Kapustin Yar range in Russia's southern Astrakhan region, the ministry added. Test, Russia successfully fired a missile today. It comes after Vladimir Putin's nuclear arms boss called on Donald Trump to stop teasing and provoking conflict with Pyongyang. Russia's head of non-proliferation Mikhail Olyanov urged the US and its allies to cease military drills near the Hermit Kingdom. Mr. Olyanov also claimed that UN sanctions are going nowhere after the US president called for more measures to put pressure on the North. Today's launch was aimed at testing the advanced combat capability of the Russian missiles. And the data picked up during the test will be used to develop technology aimed at breaching enemy missile, the ministry said in the statement. A test of the infamous Satan II thermonuclear missile could now be held in October, according to the task news agency. Missile. Putin has tested the RS-12M Topol ICBM missile. Kremlin commanders are reportedly moving forces near Russia's border with the north over fears a flood of refugees could spill over the frontier. War fears have reached boiling point this week after Trump warned he would totally destroy Kim's regime. He described the tubby tyrant as a rocket man on a suicide mission in his debut speech at the UN. And Pyongyang responded by stressing their right to nuclear weapons, labeling Trump deranged. Kim has repeatedly launched missiles and detonated his most powerful nuclear weapon in a series of tests this year. Pyongyang believes expanding its nuclear arsenal will secure the regime's rule and allow them to defend themselves from their neighbors and the US. But that could prove difficult if Washington acts on recent promises. Aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan may cross into North Korean waters in a final warning to Kim, according to reports. Before today's test, Russia has repeatedly joined China in calling for calm. Last week, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov claimed he was confident neither the US or Pyongyang would launch a nuclear strike. Mr Lavrov said, the Americans are not going to attack North Korea. If the situation spirals out of control, in South Korea and North Korea, in Japan, Russia, and China, hundreds of thousands of innocent people will suffer.